So hello and welcome back. This is the last example in this lecture. It's example five, given the following circuit, determine V1, V2, I1, and I2 by reflecting the secondary to the primary side. So recall that the primary side is on the left and the secondary side is on the right. And so the first thing we need to find is the turns ratio. The turns ratio is found by looking at N1 and N2, where N1 is equal to three and N2 is equal to one. So we get that N is equal to one third. Since N is less than one, we would say that this is a step down transformer. So now in order to reflect the primary to the secondary, we sketch the circuit as one loop and copy down the values for the secondary, two ohms and negative J3 ohms and V2 where the reflected values are gonna be V1 prime, Vs prime, and Rs prime, and we have V1 prime is gonna to equal to V2. Vs and Rs are 14 angles, zero degrees in volts, and Rs is 10 ohms. So Vs prime is equal to N times Vs, so that's going to be one third times 14. So Vs prime is 14 over three with an angle of zero degrees. Rs prime is going to be Rs times n squared, so that's going to be 10 times one over three squared or 10 over nine ohms. So we then put that on the circuit and now we have one loop so we can solve for I2. 14 over three divided by 10 over nine plus two minus J3 gives us the value for I2. So I2 is equal to 1.08 with an angle of 44 degrees in the units or amps. So next we're going to find V2. V2 is going to equal two minus J3 times I2. So V2 equals 3.89 with an angle of negative, uh, negative 12 degrees in the units or volts. So now we need to find I1 and V1. V1 is equal to one over N times V2. So that's going to be three times 3.89 with an angle of negative 12 degrees, which is 11.68 with an angle of negative 12.35 degrees. Notice we added a couple of decimal points. I1 is equal to N times I2, which equals one third times 1.08 with an angle of 44 degrees or 0 0.36 with an angle of 44 degrees in amps. All of these equations are positive because V1 and V2 are positive at the dot and I1 enters the dot while I2 exits the dot. So these are all the positive equations. So now what if we wanted to solve this problem by reflecting the secondary to the primary? We copy down the loop circuit again, but now we put the values 14 angles zero for the source and 10 ohms for the source resistor. And V1 is going to equal to V2 prime. And we need to reflect ZL prime, ZL and R, RL and ZL to become RL prime and ZL prime. RL prime is equal to RL over N squared or two over one ninth, which is 18 ohms. ZL prime is ZL over N squared, which is negative J3 over one third squared, which equals negative J 27 ohms. And now just like before, we are going to find the loop current, which is I1 and also I2 prime. So I1 is equal to 14 over 10 plus 18 minus J27. So I1 is equal to 0 0.36 with an angle of 44 degrees, exactly what we got before. And now we're going to find V1. V1 is equal to 18 minus J2 times I1. So V1 is equal to 11.68 with an angle of negative 12.35 degrees in volts, exactly what we got before. And V2 is equal to NV1, positive equation, which is 3.89 with an angle of negative 12.35 degrees, exactly what we got before. And finally, I2 is equal to I1 over N, which equals 1.08 with an angle of negative, with an angle of 44 degrees, which is exactly what we got before.